The construction of the Lagos Kanu Standard Gauge Rail tracks will commence between January and February 2020. The Minister of Transportation, Rotimi Amici, made this known in Ibado, the Oyo State Capital, during the monthly rail inspection. Amici said the rail construction works is vital to moving goods from the Apapa Port Terminal to several inland ports across the country. They added that the Lagos Ibado rail network, which is almost completed, will help decongest the Apapa Port Terminal and reduce traffic gridlocks being experienced within the Lagos metropolis. The whole of the seaport, the seaport is blocked. We need to empty it, uh, open it up. And as soon as this is completed, you will see the quantity of cargo that will be leaving the seaport and heading towards Ibada. We believe that between January and February, we will commence construction of uh, the standard gauge for Ibada to Kano. So as we move forward, that's how those goods will be going, the gates to Kano. And it's critical we get to Kano. By latest April, we will see that we can move cargoes between here and, and Ibada, at least. And that, and that will be at 120 kilometers per day. In fact, if you complete the entire Lagos to Kano, uh, it will take you six to seven hours to get to Kano. Uh, if you do, because design, design speed is 150 kilometers, and then actually this is 120 kilometers. But you can actually push the train to 150 kilometers. Joining us in the studio is PLOS TV Africa's Abuja Bureau Chief, Head Norton Operations, Amadine Uyi. Thank you very much for joining us on the news. Thank you, Felicity. Please bring us up to speed on this latest inspection. You have been following uh, the rail construction over the months. Now, uh, this particular inspection was the Lagos Ibadan standard gauge uh, modernization project. Now, uh, the Lagos Ibadan standard gauge uh, modernization project is part of uh, several real uh, infrastructure networks the federal government is trying to put in place. We have the coastal rail network, which runs from Lagos to Calabar. We have the Lagos to Kano rail line, which is broken into several segments. We have Lagos Ibadan, we have Ibadan to uh, Jeba, Abuja, then Abuja to Kaduna, which is already working. It was completed by the last administration, I think between 70 to 80 percent. And when President Muhammad Dubuari came in, he completed it. Uh, the last administration had gone really, really far. Then we have the uh, Kaduna to Kano. Now, uh, the Lagos Ibadan had been a priority for government because of the current challenges being faced at the Lagos Axis. The contract was initially meant to be a three-year contract, but the Ministry of Transportation had insisted that since the Chinese have so much doing, they should complete it within two years because of the problem being faced, the traffic gridlocks, the trailers on the, on, 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 along the Lagos roads, which is causing uh, near to no traffic, uh, near to no traffic. So government is hoping that the tracks will be extended into their papa ports so it can ferry goods out to Ibadan and several other inland dry ports around the country. Uh, the minister mentioned something about a technology that will allow the uh, train to run uh, with pipeline underneath it. How safe is this and what can you tell us about it? Now, I know that uh, the uh, Ebutemeta axis, the Alago Meji axis to our Papa port had been a, a major problem because the initial contract was not from the Apapa ports to Ibadan. The initial contract was from the Ebutemeta Alago Meji axis to Ibadan uh, via Abia Okuta, uh, via Iju, Alagwado, Abia Okuta, and then Ibadan. But what happened was that federal government came up with this novel idea that since we are modernizing the railway, why don't we push it into the ports so that these trailers which are in menace to, uh, on Lagos roads, they don't need to come into Lagos to ferry goods out of the ports. The, 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 uh, the coaches will bring out the goods from their papa terminal out and then they can pick it. As, but the problem they now had was this. Uh, Lagos is a metropolitan city and there's so, so they discover so many pipelines along the parts of the tracks. Some were water pipelines, some were gas pipelines, some were oil pipelines. It was so bad that they did not even know who owned what. They just knew that these pipelines had been on the underground for several years 
And for fear of crippling Lagos, the Lagos economy, which is virtually like the Nigerian economy, uh, it was a problem. So what the minister said was that they brought in experts who now came up with a technology that say we're not going to touch these pipelines. We're going to, uh, this technology will enable us build the tracks on the pipelines. Why the pipelines continue is normal work. The tracks will go on the pipelines and then into their papa ports. Uh, you agree with me that this uh, project has come a long way since then, and there is a deadline. Uh, from all your observation, do you think that it will meet the deadline of completion? Now, when you talk of track lane from uh, almost Ibuta Meta down to, let me say, Iju, because as of yesterday, they were coming into Lagos, the Moshi area and the rest, to Ibadan. They have succeeded in laying the whole stand, the standard gauge rail tracks, but the problem now is it has to be the the train stations because there are several train stations. The train has to make stops. Not all the train stations are complete, but a lot of them are at an advanced stage. So from what we saw on ground, I think that they will meet the deadline because the contract is three years. They've just worked for two years, and the ministry is insisting you must finish it latest April. The Chinese have given a timeline that by January, February, they will install the communication equipment. Once the communication equipments are installed, then I think it is ready to go. So the, the contract will be met. I think we'll have to leave it here. Thank you very much for coming on the news. Thank you, Felicity.